people say that hey rocket science or anything tough they say it's a rocket science you must be proud of yourself you are studying the thing vlsi design or electronics engineering that is making you to able to design the brain of a rocket rocket science might be very difficult and for sure there are a lot of calculation like i can't imagine them but at least we can make the brain of that rocket who can do the maths do the calculations guys welcome back it was a very tense day today whether we gonna make it or not and finally we have successfully landed to the moon and we become the first country to do this south pole region of uh, the moon so the main purpose of this video is to motivate you and also to help you understand if you are really interested to join isro then how can you if you are currently doing your ptech or mtech then which are the subjects are important just after Bikram lander touches the moon they have sent this message so we want to discuss which all are the subjects which actually helped so that Bikram could send you this message are you really studying those subjects probably currently you are studying that subject only but you don't know and that's why you're not getting the interest to continue your studying or go deep into that subject and as a VLSI engineer I am feeling wonder like how those engineers or scientists would be feeling who's a piece of very low code a piece of layout or a software engineer who's a piece of software got executed at exact time when the lander was landing or in the full journey of our Chandrayaan 3 it is very fascinating to uh, be in their shoe and think how nervous they would be during those 17 minutes of the last phase and how proud they are now their codes are really in moon <laughs> in this video we'll also discuss about what would be the rough salary structure if you join isro but it is beyond that it is beyond money so before i go deep into this video just remember one thing each hour you are spending your time to do study to do deep thinking right you are helping india to grow it's no matter if you join ISRO or not, but if you can able to get a great job, which imply you are getting a great salary, which imply you, you will be paying the tax for the development work of our country and which imply you are contributing to the economy. We are the future of India. We need to get out of those addiction reels. They are perfect. You can spend one, two hours, but we need to have a resolutions that hey we are very fortunate to be able to born in this great country and it's our all duty to make this country the best again think that hey i'll do something like big i'll join army or upsc or if so then only i can help india to grow but if you get a good job that's very much enough to help india by paying direct tax or buying helping economy to increase the supply so moving back to our subject and that is how does we can uh, get into the isro there are three paths actually one is simple uh, you need to complete your btech you need to uh, and btech also there are many streams but mostly we will discuss about electronics and communication any electrical align branch we will talk about but also if you are from computer science background or mechanical science background or also if you are from chemical like background then also there are lot of not lot of but there are openings each year or sometime in uh, alternative year for those engineers but after completing your btech right if you directly write gate then there are sometime directly openings through gate it is not this year past year i think but they are they are directly uh, like recruiting you through gate rank so one way is just prepare for your gate and you need to prepare actually as i said in my earliest videos also because gate uh, if you prepare for gate you are preparing for vlsi industry training institute like vlsi training institute let you learn many things but the theory which you can learn the great gate preparation is the ultimate the theory you learn from there so that's why for everyone if you want to join gate and take on nothing gate is must for every ec candidate you need to prepare for gate from your second year onward if you are not in your second year you are in third or fourth or somewhere else still it's not like it's better to start than never right so that's the one way and but through gate there is there are many many like limited seat but still we have a way another way probably it's already gone but if you have your junior or your small brother and sister you can suggest them they can join iist so it's a 
different college mainly specific to ISRO only like they take admission through JE advance and if you can get inside IIST and you have some 7.5 CGPA then ISRO will directly come to recruit you and I think this is the most easiest way but as you have already started your BTEC or MTech, so it's not in our head another one and that is very direct and again it is like direct campus visit sometimes ISRO directly come to your campus and which campus mostly NIT and IIT not in other colleges and again numbers are very less but they come they come uh, sometime and they pick two three four students from the campus so that's another a great way but there is another way the fourth way probably and that is they have a examination board and that is called uh, IC icrv every year or sometime alternative year they keep on publishing their vacancy and they conduct this exam then personal interview medical and you become a ISRO scientist. This exam can be written by BTEC student also MTech student also. For BTEC student probably you get your first promotion in three to four years but for MTech student you will get your promotion earlier than them because you have two year more study than them. So that's why if you are in your MTech also you can think of this exam. So what's the syllabus for this exam? Uh, the main syllabus actually it have two paper I guess one is some kind of aptitude and another is your subject wise and it is exactly similar to your gate so if you are preparing for a gate then it's all done actually and this exam is good news is that it is easier than gate also i have some example paper and if i show you and you see these are exactly similar to gate but little less difficult than gate for example this is coming from your signaling system uh, probably your yeah, signal system so like this this is your circuit analog like rc circuits patterns are also not exactly similar but yeah negative marking are there i think it is of 100 mark paper so they will have two paper so again if you prepare for your gate it would be very easy the personal interview where they mostly filter out the student okay so once you become a ISRO scientist there are many category uh, scientist C scientist D accordingly salary are there so we'll go to the salary in the last part of this video but before that what are the topics actually important like I, I said in the beginning of the video that the Chandrayaan 3 or the Vikram lander has sent us this message so what are the things actually worked behind the scene to let us send this SMS the main thing is the communication many of us who are VLSA say like we think communication have no glamour right we only go for circuit 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 but see in communication you have two part actually those who are doing MTech from communication they know one part is your mostly software where you do the signal analysis or signal processing and another part is your communication hardware where the RF people are like I did my MTech from RF so RF people build the hardware part of the communication where mostly transmitter and the receiver but the main thing which is play a crucial role for the missions like this and that is the antenna and you can see a few pictures of this antenna and one good thing is that if you are doing your MTech from any good institute like IIT then probably you have a fabrication lab where you will really build such kind of antenna we did actually when I saw this type of antenna I got the goosebump hey <laughs> we done those things and like we have done in some ordinary way they are doing in more professional way if you can build something in your college lab then for sure you have all the potential to become the great scientist of ISRO and can design the next Chandrayaan antenna for next Chandrayaan yeah so the subject here more mostly for the hardware part of your communication and that is probably the most difficult or sometimes most ignored subject in BTEC and that is your electromagnetic theory EMFT and which is actually a great subject if you can understand most people ignore this subject because their maths the prerequisite maths they don't know and the prerequisite ma maths mainly the vector calculus which is very important so that's why most people just ignore this subject but without this subject emft i can't talk with you you are listening to me because some radio wave are coming to your mobile through the mobile or if you are using your broadband then yeah in somewhere there is a wireless link and in that wireless link all the radio wave are traveling in the space the same way how Bikram lander has sent the communication link from the moon surface to the earth surface and if you know your theory then EMFT don't need any environment they can travel in become also that's the beauty of your Maxwell equation those Maxwell equation are defining all the modern communication system or the way we see our modern 
lifestyle today so that's why if you have that book emft or if if you have the notes just give your respect so i hope you will gain some interest in that subject after that uh, there is one subject and that is signal and system again in your third semester probably you have and we again ignore it because it is not a circuit uh, subject and we thought hey we want to be a VLSI engineer so signal and system is not my need right but again this signal and system build the fundamental for your digital signal processing or your communication system because anything coming from so far 3 lakh plus kilometer to us they will have lot of noise there are many things many distortion but we can able to regenerate the signal because we have the technique of digital signal processing we module it in such a way and then we demodule it we might be having many error detection code in between that's why communication is very nice actually like if anybody can excel in communication and really communication is toughest thing because in communication there are many maths involved uh, many codings involved one of the main maths which is working behind the scene and that is your probability and statistics random variables they are wonderfully working there right and also all the transform your Fourier transform Fourier transform is the like main fundamental of all the communication system modern communication system according to me and the different version of Fourier transform like Laplace transform Z transform okay so these are important probably you all are studying this thing and these all concepts are really helping doing this miraculous thing from sending from earth something to moon so just feel proud of yourself that hey we are reading those things we are studying those things feel proud you don't know it's nothing you have all the time there is never there is a scarcity of time just you need to manage your time right and after that as you all know there's the circuit theory because in inside the uh, Vikram lander we have a chip we have a brain right and that brain is mostly a mixed signal chip right so in the digital part all the logics are implementing for example uh, the software engineer they have built a software for the uh, moon landing so in the moon landing if you have observed there is there are many logic but one logic which you can see explicitly and that is in the final stage there was a like no go or go like when lander gonna land and if they find hey this this location is not appropriate for land then they have a logic and they say hey uh, send us to the 150 meter away and we will land there so that means there are some logic there are some if condition going behind the scene and who will process that a digital processor right so that's why your circuit theory is again important and in circuit theory you know what are the things are coming your network right and then your general digital electronics and then in the interface we probably have many analog block so your analog circuit so roughly speaking mostly all the subject in electronics and communication are being applied to build a spacecraft like Chandrayaan 3 and also in future mission right we will like this time also we have some AI help process the moon surface and to know if we can land there or not but in future we need a lot of AI processing on board so what does mean AI processing on board for example I am here I want to blur my back background right uh, using AI, AI so AI will detect my age not age 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 okay i hope you got it they need to detect it and after detecting it they just make me focus and everything else blur so that is a ai application roughly so if my computer have that ability in my computer chip then we'll call it onboard ai chip but if we send this data this video data to somewhere in cloud some google cloud or amazon cloud right and they process it for us because they have the processing power our computer don't have then we'll call it not an onboard AI but a sp spacecraft like this need to have an onboard AI processor and for that in future as a VLSI engineer I think if you learn uh, how to design AI accelerator right then it will be a great help for building such kind of future mission also we need to need more development in semiconductor physics because if we can build new type of devices for example now in market in one and two year you will see a new type of mosfet and that is called gaa mosfet gate all around mosfet but we need such kind of development which can make 
things process faster because if you have seen this landing phase there are few phases where only we have two or three seconds to decide what to do land or not in such type of time intensive work we need a fast processing power and for that we need, need to build uh, some great devices which can really work faster like many people are saying to win the space we need to have some disruptive technology to come ai is one of the disruptive technology but to support the ai we need the hardware base and which as you and me are the responsible to build so we have lot of work okay now many of you might be saying hey we don't have enough resources to do those things like resources mean many things for financial anything many things right but trust me if you can see me right now then you have enough resources for example you just see these two images probably you are seeing it so isro is giving us motivation there is never a scarcity of resources there is always a scarcity of motivation or a scarcity of willpower so we need to make the resolution do we need to work for india or we become a burden for india promise one thing we will just never give any excuse for me also i will also not give any excuse i will try my best to become my best version to help you as much as i can and you also please do the same the main thing which is not necessary here but still let's see how is the salary of isro uh, if you join isro so there are some central government metrics so anytime you join after btech only if you directly join then you will join on the 10th level i think 7th pay commission 10th level so there you have uh, the basic pay and that is around 56100 that is the minimum if you are joining after mtech probably it will be more than that 56000 it will be more than that but if you are joining directly after btech then it is 56000 as basic but this is not the end this is the basic after that you have anything hra da th there are many thing and i roughly estimated and that would be around 70 to 80000 if anybody of you know already worked on intel um, not intel now, if anybody of you already working on isro or you know somebody then please comment down what's the exact figure but if if i my calculation is correct then it would be something around 80000 it is really great and again joining isro never mean for money if you join isro or such kind of organization you have privilege to help india directly to make impact directly on india's fame and the uh, soft power in the world let me end this video by saying hey we need to join our hand we need to make our hand dirty we need to learn the concept and keep on doing many projects for vlsi project you can check out this playlist i am making but for other type of project like making an antenna simulating an antenna doing matlab pro uh, matlab codes for your digital signal processing you can ask your professor or your senior for sure they will help you and i'll see you in our next video until then feel proud and say jai hind